All right, so as we get rolling on the 2003 WX project card here, um, as we're putting things back together, uh, one of the first things we want to talk to you about is heat management. Um, as I mentioned in the intro video, we had an issue with the EGT bond and the up pipe coming out. And so based on that experience, the first little tip I'll tell you is if you do have an up pipe that has a bung here and you put a plug in it, I would say go to any reasonable measure to lock this thing off to make sure that there's zero chance that it's going to come out. So what we've done here is we've actually put some tack welds on it. Um, so this thing should be going nowhere now. Um, but in addition to that issue, as we were you know, looking through this and, and going over the car, um, the further things noticed that some things got really hot under the hood, especially around the header. Um, and so thought it would be, well, we're going to make some changes, but thought it would be a good point to have a discussion, a quick discussion about, you know, if you have a tubular header, you know, things you can do for heat management. Obviously, these have been ceramic coated, but then there's also header wrap as another option. So what are the pros and cons to them? So um, I guess, you know, first is for comparison's sake, the stock header is made of cast iron and it's got a ton of heat shielding on it. It's for two reasons. One is to keep the heat in the exhaust, so you get a little bit better performance out of the turbine out of the car, but also to keep the heat out of the engine bay, to keep everything else that is, is, is around the headers um, as cool as possible. And kind of, a, you know, if you're going to put on an aftermarket tubular header or whatnot, um, kind of a worst case scenario would be to just put on a bare metal header. So, so just a, a stainless pipe with no amount of uh, heat mitigation on it. These get very hot, especially at wide open throttle. Um, your, your headers will get very, very hot. And if you have nothing on them to keep that heat from radiating out, it can absolutely um, get out and start to melt things. I mean, we, on this car, what we saw is that there's actually some of the lower fan uh, mounts that are, that are made of plastic actually melted, um, almost like candle wax. It's pretty, pretty awesome. And then like actually on the uh, Pike's Peak car there, had a very similar header, uh, twin scroll obviously, but the same coating, and we have a very large splitter underneath of it. And uh, we actually, you know, cooked that pretty good the first time out. Um, so the ceramic is definitely uh, an improvement over just a bare metal, but even with the ceramic, um, you know, depending on the application, how close something might be to the header, you might have to go even further. Um, and so that's where we are in this case. Now, so, so pluses and minuses. The, the biggest advantage of the ceramic is, is two things. One is, um, that it is, it is very slick. So any, any kind of liquids that, that fall on this are going to continue to roll off and just leave a little de deposit behind. And that's significant because as, you know, boxer engines get older and stuff, especially like the up pipe, for instance, if you have a valve cover leak or something like that, very easy for oil to fall onto the up pipe or onto the header. And again, this gets very hot. So if, if the oil falls onto it and then rolls off, it'll just burn off very quickly um, and it carries on its way. The other thing is the ceramic does let the metal, you know, radiate a little bit more heat. Um, and with a tubular header, it's a, a tubular construction, you know, it's a bunch of pieces of metal that's, you know, welded together and then welded to flanges. So that heat load is going to put a little bit of stress. There's going to be some expansion and contraction, and it's going to put a little bit of stress on those welds and such. And the ceramic coating lets the header dissipate a little bit more heat than, say, the header wrap. Um, and so it's not putting as much thermal stress on on the header. Um, but the, the header wrap is a much more effective thermal barrier than the ceramic. Um, and with header wrap, of course, you can do multiple coats or whatnot. Um, you can kind of get, get really aggressive with it if you so choose. Um, and it's going to keep a lot more of the heat into the exhaust and away from engine components. And, and that's kind of where we realized we need to go with this. Um, the the trade-offs with the, the header wrap. One is, um, as it gets old and it gets really hot and, and cools off a number of times, it will get brittle. So if it's a low point, if there's any chance of anything rubbing on it, it can start to come apart. Um, if you're taking the, the component on and off um, you know, a, a time or two, that can cause it to get brittle to the point where it'll, it'll come apart and would need to be redone. Uh, I've actually done the header on the race car, I want to say two, maybe three times, just from all the, the times the engine's been out and such. Um, and, and then the other thing is too, it, it's a very small occurrence, but it is a possibility with, with header wrap that I will mention, is that um, it is porous, it, it will absorb liquid. So in the same scenario, if you have an up pipe that is wrapped and you have an oil leak, it is possible that the header wrap will absorb that oil and over a long time with a lot of oil 
accumulation, it can actually act like a wick. Um, which again, it doesn't happen very often, but I have seen it, you know, just a time or two. Um, and uh, as we learned on our rally car years ago, there is no such thing as a small engine fire. So that's something to be aware of for sure. Um, what we're doing this time around, I mean, obviously checking, you know, preventing any oil leaks is, is the best preventative measure. And really, you know, if you're tracking the car, driving it hard, probably should do that anyway. But the other extent that we're going to this time is DEI makes a silicone spray that, that basically seals the header wrap to, you know, basically to get it to behave more like a ceramic. So that's what we're going to give it a try. So we're going to rewrap this header with the header wrap and then silicone spray it. Um, and hopefully that'll keep all the heat where it belongs in the exhaust. Um, so that, and just as kind of a last note, there's, there's a, definitely kind of a school of thought that, you know, if you have a ceramic coated header, do not wrap it with, with heat wrap. And we, we've been doing this on the race car for a while, um, but there are a couple reasons for that that I wanted to mention. Um, the first is um, that the uh, head wrap is basically fiberglass, so obviously it's really, you know, like uh, you obviously want to wear gloves, uh, but it is abrasive. So what happens is as you, as you wrap the header and it kind of, you know, cools and the, the header expands and contracts and whatnot, it is abrasive and it can actually, over time, rub off some or, or a good portion of the ceramic coating on you know certain areas of the header, kind of negating the point uh, or, or the ceramic coating in the first place. Um, the other reason is because you've got the ceramic coating, which is a one thermal barrier, and then you're in addition you're putting on the header wrap, which is basically even more effective than either one by themselves, and that's keeping all of the heat in the exhaust. And what happens is over time that can put more of a thermal load on the header itself. So doing, doing that aggressive um, heat uh, mitigation can actually put more stress and possibly cause a you know, crack to flange or to weld sooner than if you had just ceramic coated it or just header wrapped it. So that's, those are the two reasons why it's, it's said not to wrap a ceramic coated header. Um, really it just depends on the application. There, there, as we've gone over, there's benefits for both. So, Hopefully that helps with uh, your decision-making process. We're gonna we're gonna wrap this and, and spray it, and so we'll come back and, and see what that looks like. All right, so we are back. It's been a little while, but we have now wrapped and coated um, our headers, and so all stuff to do is put them back on the car. Um, I did also want to mention that we decided to put some of, uh, gold reflective tape on the oil pan. Something we've been meaning to do uh, for a long time. Finally, just as we were doing all this, uh, it's a perfect time to do it. Um, if you're running an equal length header or a twin scroll header or whatnot, the headers do get really close to the oil pan at that point. That's why it's got the recess in there. So that gold reflective tape, if you're trying to reflect heat from something, it does a really good job of, of that. And uh, DEI also makes the gold and silver reflective tape. The difference between the two, the gold uh, is, is rated to a much higher temperature than the silver. Um, we've used that on uh, that splitter that I mentioned. that. Uh, that we got a little bit too hot. Um, also on the race car, we actually put it on the wheel weights. Uh, probably, uh, I think we just used the silver tape for that. But um, if you're using wheel weights to use an, an adhesive, you can actually get them so hot that the, they will kind of come loose or they can actually melt right off of the wheel. And then uh, you have a misbalanced wheel when you really don't want it. Um, just a quick note about that, this um, tape. Um, it does get a little bit expensive if you're trying to wrap a large surface. And the other thing you want to keep in mind is that it does work in both directions. So it, it prevents the surface from absorbing heat, but it also will prevent the surface we put it on from reflecting heat out or dissipating heat. So on the oil pan here, for instance, we only want to wrap or put the, the reflective foil where it is exposed to the header. We don't want to wrap the entire oil pan because if we did that, that would actually prevent the oil pan from dissipating a lot of the heat from the oil. Um, so just something to keep in mind with that stuff. Very handy if you've got, uh, you know, an application like you know, oil pan or those wheel weights or something like that, uh, where you're trying to just, you know, keep the radiant heat off of the surface. So that's it. Thanks very much for watching. If this video was helpful, please drop a, drop a like and stay tuned for more Flatirons Tuning Tech Tips.